we done filled this bin. We gotta fill this bin. I'm gonna start the tractor here before we start transferring. Get it warmed up. Maybe have a nice cold start for you guys. Oh. Oh, hey guys, what's up? So we're back to cutting beans here. Uh, we got rained out three three days ago, I think. I think three days ago. Um, they were able to keep on shelling. The beans were really, really wet, so we weren't able to cut them. But uh, basically, everyone that has been on the bean crew, we went ahead and started transferring grain uh, just to keep the corn guys moving so we don't pull anyone off of them. So they're able to keep running. But we are back to cutting beans now. Um, should finish up beans today uh, is the plan hopefully um, the third combine cut beans is broke down he was throwing chunks of sieve out the back end of the combine so I don't know what's going on there they're checking that out I'm not sure if they're even gonna get it up and running right now or if they're just gonna have it go back into the shop and us, us finish up beans we shouldn't have a problem um, we shouldn't have a problem finishing them up so Hoping for a good day here, hoping for a good day. So, turns out we got a sieve. They are putting a sieve in that combine over there. Uh, Main the other combine, we're just rolling here. We had a, a meal drop off, I guess. A meal drop off. Um, yeah, we got a ribeye, some macaroni and cheese, and uh, mashed potatoes. So it is a great day to be cutting beans. I'm having the time of my life. Uh, it was pretty awesome. You can't beat getting a hot meal out in the field, especially a ribeye steak. Would you look at that? No, not my extremely dirty window. Um, they got the third combine going. Uh, we ended up able to get a sieve, threw it in there. Pretty daggone fast, because I think he was only down for like two hours or something. So that's like not much time at all, especially considering that I mean, it's probably like 45 minutes away, uh, our dealership, where we had to pick the sieve up. So, yeah, he's rolling. And my windows are filthy. Look at that. Last day of cutting beans problems. Unreal. You know, the windows haven't gotten this bad this year because, like, that was the first time we've been rained out this year. So, uh, I mean, most time it's just, like, dust not actual dirt that's like caked on the window but that's what it is today's turned into a really nice day i thought it was going to be like one of them cloudy overcast days where the beans never like actually dry out good and they stay tough all day but um that's not the case because we're rolling about five mile an hour right now We got uh, three combines here in like, I don't know, a 15 acre field. I guess that's what happens when you're getting to the tail end of bean harvest. I am sitting full. We're waiting on a grain cart. We are heading to cut the last bit of beans. We are no need taking all the combines over there. So uh, yeah, I'll just pull the head for now. And then I will have to come back and get a cart because neither of the cart guys know how to get there. 
which they're sitting up the road here waiting on a truck but pretty exciting pretty exciting get to the, getting to the end here this is uh the first year that i can remember running the combine that we pretty much ran from start until stop um i mean we have had one one day where we got rained out um other than that i think we've only had like yeah i think i think that's it we, we got rained out early one night and then we had one actual day that we're, where we got rained out from cutting for a while but that's about it so uh yeah that right there is the first field we cut i think we started cutting that on october the 5th i think the 5th something like that and what is the day the 28th the 28th yep we finish we'll finish cutting beads here on the 28th uh they're still shelling corn right on uh not sure how much corn we have left to go but um they'll get that pretty exciting stuff most time i get a dig a video note video be like oh these are the last last of the beans as i'm in like the combine you know but um i did not realize i was cutting my last bit of beans for 2022 until i'd already cut the last bit so unreal can't make a tiktok out of it i guess i could just take a video of him and make a tiktok out of that but i got to drop this trailer off pull the wiring off i don't want to rip that off it's all our other hundred folks uh the wiring's all messed up on so they, they don't go really but this is the uh first rear steel steer trailer we got it's pretty slick hold on a second let me get this key back in here there we go yeah, but this is the first uh, rear steer header cart wagon we got. Pretty slick. Uh, when we first got it, the tongue was heavier than all get out. Like, it was a man killer. But uh, come to find out, this thing right here is actually the spring on it. You tighten that down and it puts more pressure on it. And now this thing is lighter than all get out. I mean, a baby could do it. There he is, just a honing. But, uh, yeah, that header cart's pretty slick. Pretty slick. A little bit weird driving one of the, or pulling one of the road runners where you gotta swing really wide and then hopping in that thing. Cause uh, if you swing really wide in that thing, you'll dang near have it in the road ditch. But yeah, it's a pretty slick header cart. Granite. You can't pull it at like 50 mile an hour. Roadrunners, you can pull them things as fast as you want. This, you kind of want to keep it under like 40 or so. Actually, I don't think you're actually supposed to pull them 40. I'm just now thinking about it. But I don't know why I had both the grand carts move over here. Because it's 20 acres. We don't need two grand carts. One car might run. Oh well. Oh well. You have them in case you need them, you know? I guess one of them could have moved back to the shop. Oh well. Oh well. Since I was not doing anything, you know, I was like, eh, I kind of want an ice cream. So I ran up the street and got them all an ice cream. This field is rough. But now, I just dropped their ice creams off. I'm heading back, back over to the header cart to get hooked up because, I mean, the last 20 acres, it's not going to take him long. Dad, come on, why is this field so rough? Let's see, oh my gosh, I'm a mile and a half away. I'm making it look like this is my first time ever doing this. Jeez, oh, it's getting better. Okay, let's see. Uh, we're gonna call that good. I backed up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got this. There we go.
There is the big old box that uh the sit come in. So he had a boat come loose or something. And it ended up like the whole thing fell apart. Backed up a little bit fast. But yeah, the whole thing was like falling apart, so that was no good. But it's running. They gotta put in in like no time, so. So here we are, we did not need this semi. He's headed to go haul corn. There is the last load of beans for 2022. Going on that truck over there. Got a combine rolling up to drop its head. And we're ready to move everything back to the shop. Here we go, Brandon, for the YouTube on his first try. I doubt he's gonna get it on his first try. We'll see. We'll see. He's looking close. He's looking pretty close. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. I don't think so. Ah, ha, ha. I'll, I'll edit it down and make it look like you got it on your first try. I'm not gonna do that. He's gonna watch this and be like, what the heck? It took me 27 attempts. <sighs> you got some riders here? Field finds, baby. Seven hours later. No, just kidding, he got it on his first try. Single shot it. Single shot it. We're good shape. Beans are done. Let's move back to the shop. Strap the head down so we don't launch the head off. Ka chow. See, this is weird, because I'm usually the one taking the last pass for the year. And I am not the one taking the last pass here. Or I'm I'm not the one that took the last pass. So, that is, that is weird, because I'm pretty sure I always take the last pass. I don't remember a time where I haven't taken the last pass. Unreal, I guess it was the first for everything. It's another day here. We got done cutting beans yesterday, so uh, we're in the midst of transferring corn here. Uh, we done filled this bin. We gotta fill this bin. I'm gonna start the tractor here before we start transferring. Get it warmed up. Maybe have a nice cold start for you guys. Oh. We might have a couple more because we got like three more tractors to start. But that was that was a pretty decent cold start. Way to give her give her old Papa Ether there. But basically we are transferring corn. Um because at our main bin, bin facility we do not have room for uh we don't have room for everything, so uh, we have to bring all the corn in there to get dried. So then it gets put into like the holding bins there, and uh, now now we are trucking it out to, to smaller bins that we have scattered out, uh, just so we have room at our main facility to get everything everything shelled. Basically, that made any sense. Setting an auger up. Hello! 
Oh, the door's open down there. Why don't you get that? That would not be good. We're not positive if this if this elevator will uh, reach up here. We're really hoping it will because that that auger unloads really really fast. So really hoping it'll reach here and we don't have to go get a different one, but I don't know, we'll see. Time will tell. Look at the dust just jetting out of that bin. The fans on there. Truck is dumped and rolling out. I think we got another one rolling up. Yep, another one rolling up to the pit. by a tad there we gotta come this way with it we probably want to be just on the edge of the hole because when he lets that tub down the whole auger is gonna go whoop, just to the side a little bit so hold on a second I'll, I'll get directing him here and we'll get this we got the auger shut up got another semi rolling in with a load of corn he's just getting empty he's down there unhooking the tub Turns out this auger will reach. So that's good. There we go. And we'll just climb over here and walk down the steps. Right out of the side jaw. Uh, basically, I stand here on my little platform, pull the chain, load them, they roll around, dump it in the auger, and roll around right back here. It's pretty efficient. We move a lot of grain this way. Full load head now. Another truck will be pulling in shortly. Loading that one out of that bin. We gotta have a long auger to load this one because we wanna keep the pit open over there so semis hauling out of the field can still get to the pit to dump. That's gonna be a wrap. Um, I would have videotaped more of the day, but I kind of just stood there on the platform 
and loaded semis out of the side draw all day long. So it was not that interesting after the first 16 times or the other 87 times. So yeah, we didn't get much of the day filmed, but that's all right. We had a productive day and we're going to head home now. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.